LEDs uh, or low emission development strategies is a very voluntary network of uh, organizations around the world uh, put together by a variety of global funders including USAID, uh, GGGI and other organizations uh, to bring together practitioners from the developing world and from the developed world in order to share lessons, best practices, country experiences on low emission strategies and how they have contributed to development but also to discuss what the challenges have been in different countries, what the successes have been in different countries and thereby increase the networking that happens, the knowledge levels uh, of practitioners in different countries but also to understand what the barriers are in terms of financing, uh, in terms of uh, regulatory barriers, in terms of uh, supply and demand uh, for example of solar cells or wind turbines but also in terms of exchanging tools and methods that are being used to evaluate the success of different policy programs. As a result of our engagement with many of the countries in Asia, we are able to bring uh, into our work several of the tools, analyses and different methods and best practices and what worked and what didn't work in other countries into some of our own work and studies which can feed into policy formulation and design in India. Uh, in the context of uh, solar energy, wind energy, energy efficiency and also the development goals. Uh, some of the work that we did uh, also has gone into uh, different projects of energy efficiency but also uh, some of the development work that we did for the state of Karnataka. So there was tremendous appreciation across the board at that global partnership meeting uh, at Sea steps uh, approach uh, in the context of Karnataka's uh, development and how low emissions could actually contribute to a more rapid development for the state of Karnataka. Sea step has worked extensively on and made significant progress with the geospatial analysis of the renewable energy potential assessment of India. We have been supported in this work by the Niti Aayog as part of the Sustainable Growth Working Group. This group was constituted under the Indo-US Energy Dialogue and as part of this effort we are getting a collaboration with the National Renewable Energy Laboratory or NREL and we are trying to prioritize the development of RE resources in India using geographic information. CSTEP has been involved with the India Energy Security Scenarios or IESS since the beginning as a knowledge partner of this tool. IESS is an energy planning tool developed by Niti Ayo to facilitate a dialogue on long-term energy pathways in the country. As a knowledge partner, CSTEP has worked on energy demand trajectories for agriculture, commercial lighting and appliances and industries, and energy supply trajectories for hydro and nuclear power. CSTEP has also organized events to disseminate IESS at Chennai, Bangalore and Noida over the course of the last year. IESS is increasingly being used for evidence-based policy making. For example, it will play a major role in the upcoming national energy policy and it is also being used to determine India's climate policy options in the future. There are two features of IESS that make it especially relevant from a policy making point of view. First, it's an easy to use, flexible and open source tool. Second, it integrates data and expertise that spans various ministries and in India into a single place. The Climate Parliament um, report um, Re-Energizing Karnataka was about uh, identifying barriers for renewable energy growth in Karnataka and answering questions of why it is not doing as well as some of the other states in renewable energy. So it was essentially a synthesizer. So the, the work was essentially synthesizing stakeholder views on what are the major barriers to growth and then suggesting policy interventions to overcome them. So the report was well received. The policy brief itself was submitted to the State Energy Department and also to the Chief Minister subsequently.